Hey, how's it going guys? It's Peyton. Um, and today I'm going to be reading you guys a story from the Bible. And as we know, uh, everything in the Bible is true. Um, so today we're going to be talking about um, a story about Jesus. So after Jesus fed the 5,000, he went off to pray by himself. And the disciples, um, who were his followers, um, got into a boat and went out to sea. Now, while they were out in sea, a big storm happened. And the waves started going crazy, and there was rain, and there was lightning and thunder. And the disciples began to get scared. Now, when Jesus was done praying, he saw that there was a storm. And he saw his disciples out on the sea. And he decided to go to them. Now, if you were trying to get out to somebody who was out on the water, out in sea, how would you maybe go about getting out there to them? Maybe you would take a boat, or maybe if you were a really good swimmer, you might swim out there to them. But you know what Jesus did? He did something incredible. He walked on the water all the way out to the disciples. Isn't that crazy? Have you ever seen somebody walk on water? No, I'm going to guess you haven't. That's because nobody but Jesus, who is God's one and only son, could walk on water. Now, how would you feel if you saw somebody out there walking on water? You would probably feel how the disciples felt when they saw Jesus. They felt a little bit scared because they didn't know who it was. Because you see, the storm was crazy. They, they couldn't really make out who it was that was coming up to them. And so they thought maybe, just maybe, this was a ghost. Now, when Jesus was getting closer to them, Jesus shouted out to them. And he told them to have courage. He told them to not be afraid. And he told them that it was Jesus. And Peter, when he heard this, he asked Jesus, Jesus, if that really is you, then let me come out to you. Allow me to walk on the water as well. And so Peter steps out of the boat in this crazy storm. He steps out of the boat onto the water. And you know what happens? He stands on top of it. He starts to walk on the water like Jesus. And he starts taking a few steps out into the water. And then you know what happens next? Peter starts to get afraid. He starts to look at the the waves and he starts to look at the sky and he starts to see the thunder and the rain and he starts to get afraid and he starts to sink slowly in the water and he calls out to Jesus, Jesus help me and Jesus calms the storm. He reaches out to Peter and he pulls him out of the water. Now Jesus calmed the storm because Jesus has the power to calm the storm, just like Jesus has the power to walk on water. And the only person who has the power to do these things, to save us from the storm, and to allow us to walk on water, is Jesus. And you know Jesus, God's one and only Son? He loves you, and He loves me, and He loves everybody, even now. So I want you to think about that throughout your week, that the God that can calm the storms and that can walk on water is thinking about you and loves you. All right, we'll see you guys next week for another Bible story and another lesson. Have a good week.